Okay, so um, we have uh, basically completed our album. I am just going to now make a mixed media piece for the cover. So, um, I have got a, just a piece of thin chipboard and, um, oh, I'm going to put gloves on because I always forget to do this. I work at a restaurant and um, there's nothing worse than trying to serve people when your hands are like all stained from ink and everything. It doesn't look pretty. It's not a good look. <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, full transparency, uh, I am not someone who does a lot of mixed media, so this is just as much of an experiment for me as anything, so um, I don't really know how this is going to turn out, but we're, we're going to do it together and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, so first I am... Um, coating oh, the lid. I was just about to lift it up and show you and then I'm like don't put the lid on first so I'm just going to coat um, my chipboard first with some black gesso white gesso is just as fine I just decided I wanted to use black um, and then I'm going to spray it with some white um, all right so I'm just putting on a fairly good layer of gesso just to prepare my surface for sprays etc okay I'm just gonna dry that Um, I've also got, while well, actually while well, that's just kind of drying on its own, I'll show you the things that I might use. So I've got a couple different little pieces from the, um, the Stamperia Wonderland collection, which is what the album is based on. Um, I've got a couple different stencils. I'm not sure if I will use one or the other or both or neither. Um, and then a couple chipboard. Um, pieces. This one's a Forever in Time. This one is um, a Dusty Attic. I'm thinking I'm probably, I, might, I think I might actually use both of those. Um, and then I've got a script stamp from Tim Holtz. And um, I wanted to do some sprays, but I didn't really have many sprays. I've got this antique linen uh, distress ink spray, but I didn't have many other sprays, so I just took some acrylic paint. Um, it is the Turquoise Amsterdam acrylic paint, and I just put some in a bottle with some water, and I'm just going to see how it works to make my own spray, and I made one of white as well. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. I have absolutely no idea <laughs> what to expect. So I'm going to quickly dry this, and then we'll continue. Okay, so that is dry now, and I decided on which chipboard pieces I'm going to use, and I also put some black gesso on them, just a couple butterflies and the uh, kind of viney uh, frame. So I'm going to use these in happy moments. Okay, so I am going to first um, use some, um, just some glue to kind of glue down uh, my paper. I might uh, give it a bit of a inked edge first. Okay, so I'm just gonna two pieces. My plan is to kind of hide the wings to fly to put happy memories in there instead. And I ripped just some pink uh, bits because I wanted to add a little bit of pink and I didn't have any pink, pa pink um, or red to make a spray. Um, and I also wanted something to cover up the, the wings to fly. 
<laughs> There's gonna be probably a lot of um, me saying um, okay or something like like pauses while my brain figures out what it's doing. <laughs> but I will do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna use this for the, I'm gonna use the gel. For this instead. So this is a transparent gloss gel, also from, um, Art, uh, from Art Basics. Um, so yeah. Oh, my brush still has a tiny bit of black gesso. I'm going to switch brushes. Okay, so I'm going to put some on the back of the piece. Switch brushes. don't want to muck up my paste. And then I will put some over top as well. And I decided to film this whether I uh, it worked or not <laughs> because um, I'm definitely a perfectionist and I try to... There's often times where I don't even want to release something if I feel that it is not good enough. But um, I realized that nothing, if especially trying new things, nothing is ever going to be perfect the first time. So... I'm trying to get over that and um, trying to relax a little with uh, my perfectionism. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go over it a little bit. At least on the edges, make sure it's really down there. And then I'm going to dry that and then continue. Okay, so now I'm going to see if this um, white spritz that I made works. I'm going to kind of... Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty powerful actually. I'm just going to spritz places where I'm planning on stamping. I, I don't want it to go... Wow, that's intense. Um, I don't want it to go too much on my uh, image in the center. I'm going to kind of just smear that around a little bit and then dry it just because I want to prepare, I want to do a little bit of stamping. I don't want to cover it up too much. I want some of the black to show through. Okay, dry that and then try doing some stamping. Okay, so that's basically dry. All right, let's try doing a bit of stamping. See how this goes. I think I might need some more, another ink pad. Try that. Uh, let's do some up here. Oh, awesome. Love that. And some down here. And let's see if there's enough left to do some more over here. my ink a little bit more and do just a bit more down there. Uh, I am going to do some spritzing so I might end up stamping again <laughs> afterwards. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. No, uh, it's turquoise. Let's 
Um, maybe I'm just going to spritz it on a paper towel first just to see what it looks like. It's pretty bright. I can always tone it down though a little bit with some of the um, with some of the white, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to spray just a little bit. I'm going to try not to get it on my image. I'm going to spray from afar. Okay, um, I might add a little bit of water to that and see. Kind of cool. I think I like it. You can see the stamping still through it, so I like that. Might just add a tiny bit of white just to soften it a bit in a couple places. Cool. Okay. I like that so far. I'm going to dry that and then I think I'm going to do... What next? Um, I think I'll do the uh, stenciling next. So I am decided it needed just a little bit more of some other colors. So I'm going to try some of this antique linen. I'm just going to... Yeah, I think that's what I want. So I'm just going to kind of go... and. At an angle at a couple different places. Yeah, I think so. Maybe add a little bit of water. It's a little bit yellowy. I don't I think I wanna dilute it a little bit. Kind of let that roll around a bit. Okay. I'm going to tack. I don't want too much on the actual wings, so I'm going to get rid of a little bit there. Okay, I'm going to dry that. Okay, I think I'm going to do some stenciling up in this corner and then maybe down here. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to use my, the, the gesso, the white gesso again. And do I have a palette knife somewhere handy? Okay, so I'm gonna use the white gesso and uh, just a little palette knife. Perfection. Love that. Um, okay. Oh, I got a little bit where I don't want it though. I just don't want it right. Okay, now I'm going to put some down here. I think like that. Far too much.
Let's see. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's perfect. Yay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so that's great. So far, so good. Um, now I want to add my chipboard elements. So I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to put my uh, chipboard elements on and I'm going to spray, I think I'm going to spray them white um, off the canvas or off the the thing and then um, uh, and then put them on. Yeah, so that's my plan. Okay, so I'm just going to dry. I want a little bit of black to show through so I'm going to half ass or <laughs> I'm going to kind of just really haphazardly spray them. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to dry that and dry this and then I'll put the chipboard pieces on. and clean my stencil. Okay, so I'm just gluing my um, chipboard pieces on now, just with a PVA glue. And... Ah! Oh, <laughs> put that one on the wrong way. Put the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> I want the gesso side up. Okay, I'm happy with that placement. I'm gonna make sure that the glue is dry. And then I'm gonna go in. Um, I was thinking about using this Distress Ink Tarnish Brass, but I'm wondering if it might be too... Yeah, it might be too much. Um, so I've also got these uh, metallic rub-ons. This bronze one might be really nice. Um, uh, what can I do it on? Uh. <laughs> Just do it on my paper. Yeah, I think that. So I think I might just use my finger and do the bronze on there, I think. So I'm just going to dry it first, um, make sure all the glue's dry, and then go over that with bronze. I'm also thinking it's still a little bit too teal. I want to add a little bit more of this um, antique linen. And then some water. Kind of let it roll through the parts of the um, stenciling. Yeah, I like that, how it's like kind of getting into the grooves of the stenciling a little bit. Okay, I like that. I'm going to dry that. I'm almost wishing that I'd left these black, actually. Okay, let me, let me just see what it looks like if I put some of this bronze just directly onto... No. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna repaint these black. <laughs> I decided. So very carefully. So I'm gonna re gesso these so that I can put the I think the bronze will look better if there's a little bit of the gesso underneath the black underneath. That was silly. I could have saved myself a lot of time. Oh well. Just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe up a couple of spots where I boo booed already. <laughs> gonna let that uh, dry and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the um, gold or antique or something over top of it yeah that's my plan okay so I'm just gonna quickly dry this brown. I don't, uh, it doesn't have enough pop. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Got a little bit of this Rub and Buff gold leaf. I'm gonna maybe try it. Oh yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna kind of buff it a little bit off again. So I'm just doing the chipboard parts. I might do a tiny bit of the raised um, part of the stenciling as well. very well on the stenciling. I'm going to leave that then. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try and take a little bit of it off. So you can see a bit of the black underneath. I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely not a um, I mean, I don't know. It's it's good for one of my first tries. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, this was the other I tried once off camera, and that was my first. Actually, this is my second attempt. My first attempt was a complete miserable failure, um, and I just threw it away. <laughs> this is the second one, and I wasn't happy with the coloring. Uh, I was happy with the placement of everything, and but I just wasn't happy with the coloring of the chipboard, or that the stencil kind of got lost. It didn't, it didn't really keep its dimension after I used the sprays and stuff. So, of my three attempts so far, this is my favorite, so I'm gonna go with it. And I'm just gonna keep practicing at Mixed Media, because I really, um, there's a few people on YouTube that I really admire for their Mixed Media, and I would like to become more proficient at it. So, um, that is the first attempt. Um, I'm just gonna take off my gloves and look at it kind of on the album. So, so that's our album. And I feel like 
feel like it definitely kind of goes with our theme, so that is going to just sit on the cover like that. Um, so I'm going to stick that on, and then I'm just going to put some more tags and stuff in my pockets, and then the album is done! Um, yay! Congratulations! If you have followed me all the way through this journey, you have just completed the first version of the um, Mix and Match mini album. The second version will be coming out shortly. Um, but that is the first version. The second version will have all new page designs, but they will still be using those same five sized pieces. Um, so I'm going to clean up my area and um, completely finish up my album and we're good to go. Yay! I'm really happy. Um, this is my first mixed media somewhat success, so <laughs> I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite uh, content about this. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and uh, subscribe and follow for more. There's so many things coming up. I've got a lot of ideas and, and things in the works. All right, have an amazing day. Love you lots. Bye.